If you're watching this video right now, that probably means one of two things. One, you're subscribed to this channel and you watch every video, no matter what it is. And if that is the case, then thank you very much. Option two is that you are in the market for the perfect grip for your Switch or Switch Lite. In my opinion, there are two that everyone should at least take a look at. One of those being the Satisfy Grip and the other being the Skull & Co Grip Case and Grip Case Lite. Now, I've already done an in-depth guide on the Satisfy Grips and I've also done a video comparing the two Lite versions. But just to bring everything full circle, I felt like I owed you guys an in-depth look at the Skull & Co Grip Case and Grip Case Lite. So that is what we're gonna do here today, guys. Enjoy this B-roll and we will get right down to it on the other side. Okay, so before we jump into the nitty gritty stuff, let's just go ahead and get this out of the way. Both of these grips are comfortable. I know that's the number one question when you're looking at a grip, and yeah, they're both comfortable, no matter which one you get. I use both of them a lot, this one a lot more than this, but yeah, they're definitely comfortable. This is the third video I've made involving these grips, and I can tell you right now, if they weren't comfortable and weren't something that I actually use, I would not be putting out that much content on the same exact thing. But I do have to mention that Skull & Co did send these grips to me for free, but if it makes any difference to you at all, I did buy this one myself before they sent anything else over. So for whatever that's worth, there you go. So now that that's all out of the way, let's go ahead and get on with the video. Also, don't forget we have t-shirts, link in the description. Okay, so to start off, when you see the two grips together, you can obviously tell that they are very different. The two Satisfy grips are basically the same product, just scaled for the device that they're meant to fit. But these two, while they do have something similar, and in some cases, things that are exactly the same, they have a lot of pretty big differences. So let's go ahead and start off with the OG model. So this one is gonna come in a matte black finish and I have to say it, it is very nice. The finish is done really well on these. And as you can see right here in the center, they have the Skull & Co logo in a gloss, which I think looks really, really good. Right out of the box, getting this thing in your hands, you're definitely gonna feel the quality. It's flexible enough that you're not gonna have any problem getting your switch in and out, but at the same time, it's pretty sturdy for being made out of a rubberized plastic. I mean, it feels very premium. It's definitely solid when you hold it in your hands. So any of you guys out there worried about this thing feeling cheap and plasticky or anything like that, you don't have to worry about that. It is sturdy, it's good to go. Now, something I see a lot of questions about specifically with this grip is the angle of the actual grips that you hold on to. So as you can see here, they're not exactly straight up and down, but they don't have much of an angle at all. They almost go directly with the back of the Joy-Con. They are angled slightly out, but not a whole lot. And I know a lot of people are looking for that angle to get your thumb out maybe on this side, but I can tell you from using this, there's a lot to hold on to here. Being set up the way it is, you can pretty much just kind of rest your fingers on the back and the switch just kind of floats in your hands. Now, I don't know if that's the best way to describe it, but I can say, even without the dramatic angles, this thing is very comfortable to use over a long period of time, so that's definitely something you're not gonna have to be concerned about. Now, one thing to keep in mind if you're gonna pick this grip up is that you will not be able to use your kickstand. There is no cutout for it on the grip, and to me, that's not really a big deal because I don't use my kickstand anyway, but if you do use it a lot, it's definitely something to consider if you're looking at picking one of these up. When you pull it out of the box and open up the case, which I will be talking about later on in the video, you're gonna open up the flap and in there you will find the other grips that actually come with these cases. Now this is gonna be one of the biggest differences between the OG and the light version. Now it's the same concept but it's just implemented a little bit different between the two grips. So here you're gonna be getting three different sizes and which one is right for you really depends on a lot of things. One, maybe your play style, the size of your hands and a lot of other stuff but really the best way to figure out which one will work best for you is just try all of them on and see which one you like the best. Sometimes the one you think you're gonna like the best just really isn't the one that works best for you. So it's nice that they include all these and you can just try them out and maybe even use some in different situations or one on one side and one on the other. So in this kit, the three options you're gonna get, the snap grips, which are the smallest option, 
And then you're also gonna get the trigger grips, which have this little, uh, little bump out area for your finger to rest on. And you're also gonna get the plus grip, which I have on here right now, and is actually the biggest of the three. I'm not exactly sure why, but for some reason the trigger grips have a slightly different texture than the other two sets. The trigger grips have these very small indentions, which I actually kind of like a little bit better, but honestly, when using the grip, you can't tell the difference either way. Now on this version of the grip, if you wanna change to one of the other options, unfortunately you actually have to take the switch completely out of the case. Which I'm not a huge fan of, but like I said, it's pretty easy to get in and out, so it's not that big of a deal. So what you're gonna wanna do to get your switch in and out is actually start at one of the bottom corners and just kinda peel it back. Then you wanna go to the other corner and do the same thing and you can slide the switch right out. Doing it from the bottom first, is actually gonna help save your buttons on the top of the Joy-Con, just in case something would get stuck in there. And while we're talking about it, when you put it in, you wanna do it the same way. You wanna make sure you put the buttons in first, and then just snap the bottom down. Okay, so once you get the switch unit out, you're gonna see these little red ovals on each side. Now inside, you're gonna see these little tabs that are the same color as whatever grip you have on the outside here. What you're gonna to wanna to do is grab those tabs and just squeeze. When you do that, the grip will just pop right off, no problem at all. So then you go ahead and grab the other grip you wanna install, line up the tabs, and just push it in. It clips right into place, super simple, very, very easy to do. So as far as color options go, you can get these grips in a ton of colors. Honestly, for the most part, if Nintendo makes a Joy-Con in that color, you can get these grips to match it. And depending on when you're watching this video, they're actually gonna be adding the Animal Crossing Special Edition colors as well, so you'll be able to pick those up too. So something I really like about this setup is they let you buy the pieces you need without making you buy a whole bundle or just a bunch of stuff that you don't need. You can get just the grip along with any color of the attachments that you want, or you can get that grip with any color attachments and a case. But the cool thing is you can also just buy the colored grips separately. So you can get another set if you want to change them out if you get a new set of Joy-Cons. And if something happens to the black part of the case, you can actually buy that separately too. And yes, you can also buy the case separately as well. So if you decide you wanna get the grip now and maybe just don't have the money for the case, you can go ahead and just go back and get it later, no problem. Okay, another few quick things I wanna mention they say this grip is dock compatible. Mm, it will go in the dock, but I do not recommend doing it. The Switch itself was not designed to be put in the dock with anything else on it, so I do not recommend doing this. And also, if you have anything plugged into the USB ports on the side of your dock, this isn't gonna fit anyway. It's sketchy, it's a little tight, and it kinda makes me a little bit concerned about possibly scratching the screen just because there's so much pressure in there. I just wouldn't do it. One other thing that I wish I could answer for you guys right now, but unfortunately I cannot because I don't have a Bluetooth adapter here, is if any of those will fit with this case on. Now I'm not 100% sure, but if you are using one of these cases and a Bluetooth adapter at the same time, definitely leave it in the comments below so we can all figure that out. Just judging by the way it looks, I think it might work with some, but I think for the most part, you're probably not gonna be able to use this with a Bluetooth adapter, unfortunately. Now again, I don't know for sure because I don't have one here. I'm just saying by the look of it here, you guys look at it, what do you think? What do you think? I just don't know. I'm not sure. Anyway, like I said, if you're using one, leave it in the comments below so you can educate the rest of us. Another small detail I wanted to bring up is that these cases do have button covers for your shoulder buttons on the top. And yes, that goes for the light version as well. It's also got button covers on the top. I mentioned it in both the other videos that I've covered this grip in, but I'll go ahead and mention again, they're a non-issue. After a few minutes, you don't even know they're there. Like I said in the original review for the light version, uh, it, it did take a little bit of time to get them broken in, but after that, they were fine. And, and I don't even notice that I'm using them now. And the OG version really didn't take any time at all to break in. They just work right out of the box. So again, you're not even gonna notice they're there after a few minutes, non-issue, don't worry about it. But I do know some of you are concerned about that because before I got this one, that was actually my main concern is were the button covers gonna be comfortable or was it gonna be something that really annoyed me and then I wouldn't even end up using the grip that I bought. The only thing I will say is sometimes, sometimes, not all the time, when I'm trying to turn the switch off, it accidentally hits the volume down button, which isn't a huge deal, 
and that only happens on the light, but it is something to mention. Other than that, I've had no issues with any of the button covers at all. Okay, now that should cover just about everything for the OG version, but if there's something I didn't mention or a question that you still have, feel free to leave it in the comments and I will make sure I get back to you as soon as I possibly can. So moving on to the grip case light. So I'll tell you right up front, when it comes to the switch light, this is the grip that I use probably 90% of the time, if not more. As you guys probably already know, I'm a pretty big fan of my switch light and I think that this grip and this system are a very very good combination so comparing the two right here again the first obvious thing you're gonna see is the angle of the grips themselves the light version has a way more significant angle on it than the OG version does for sure and that is definitely not where the differences stop so while the names are the same for the grip options you get being the snap the trigger and the plus they are very very different in the way they actually look and feel. The snap grips especially, they are significantly smaller on the Switch Lite version. Now I go a little bit more in depth on these on the other videos, so make sure you go check them out, but I can tell you, just like the original version, they're all very, very comfortable. And a lot of that's gonna depend, again, on the size of your hands, your play style, and, you know, other factors. But, but as I said before, the best way to figure out which one's best for you is just to go ahead and try them all out. Now I use the plus grips most of the time, which are the biggest ones, but I also use the snap grips as well. And just to give a little bit of perspective on the size my nine-year-old uses the plus grips which are the biggest ones and obviously she has small hands being a child and she has absolutely no issue with the biggest grip so I think when it comes to the light version anyway all three of the grips are pretty compatible with most hand sizes that may not be the case with the plus grips on the OG they are very very big as far as the angles I would say both sides are pretty close to the left side of the Satisfy grip. Not exactly, but pretty close. So that's gonna give you a little bit of an idea if you have one of those, what you're gonna be getting with this. Something that has been completely redesigned from the original Switch version to the light is the way that the colored part of the grip attaches to the body. And in my opinion, this is a massive improvement over the original design. The first thing that's great about it is you don't have to take the case off to change out the colored grips. And again, this is something I've gone over in the other videos, but in case you haven't seen it, I'll go over it again. All right, guys, it's pretty complicated, so make sure you look close. Ready? Did you get that? Yeah, you literally just slide it off and slide it right back on. It's that simple. And they stay in place very well, but at the same time, they're pretty easy to get off if you want them to come off. Now, one thing I do wanna mention for sure, because it was a question that I had in my first video on this, the original review, was how well these little tabs would actually hold up over time that hold the grips in place. And I am happy to report that they hold up just fine. It is definitely not gonna be an issue because I have a terrible habit of sitting here and doing this. I do it way, way too much and it's probably not good for the grip, but I can tell you this, after doing that probably a million times, it still holds very firmly and it's, it's never come off on accident. So again, happy to report, not an issue, so don't worry about that. Okay, so just like the original, you're gonna be able to get these colored grips in any color the Switch Lite comes in, and actually even some that it doesn't. Now it's sold out at the moment, but they did put out this special edition Animal Crossing version, even for the Switch Lite. Now I'm a huge fan of this color, and I've actually got some big plans for this one, so make sure if you're not subscribed that you go ahead and do that so you don't miss what's going on with that. Now just like the original, you're gonna be able to pick this up in a bundle with whatever color grips you want and a case. And yes, you can get the color part of the grip sold separately in whatever colors you want, and you can purchase the case separately as well. One thing you can't buy by itself right now is just this plastic piece. Now they do have the plastic case like this on their site, but it does not have these rails for the grips to go on. Okay, so quickly before we wrap this up, I do wanna go over the Max Carry case as well. Now the versions for the Switch and the Switch Lite are basically the same, but as we come to the differences, I'll go ahead and point those out for you so you know where they are. So both cases are semi-hard shell cases with a fabric material covering them on the outside. Both have rubber covered handles on the top and heavy duty zippers with these cool little skull logos on them. The Switch version has one red one and one blue one and for some reason the light version has a maroon. No idea why it's maroon, but it is. Weird choice to me, but it's maroon. I mean it looks fine, it's just, I just don't understand why. 
Anyway, opening up both of these cases and looking at the top flap, on the Switch Lite version, you're not gonna have anything. But on the original version, they do have a net pocket that does not zip, but it does overlap to make sure everything stays secure. It's not extremely large, but it's a good place to store some cables or something like that. Okay, so moving down, both cases have a top flap that covers the screen of the Switch unit itself. Both of these flaps have spot to hold games, but the difference is the Switch version holds 10 and the Lite version holds eight. One other small difference in the cases is the Velcro strap that holds the Switch unit in place. On the Switch version, it's actually offset to the side just a little bit so you can fit the USB-C cable in there to charge the Switch while it's in the case. For some reason, the Switch Lite version has it set directly in the middle so you can't do that, which I don't really think is a big deal because the Switch Lite case doesn't have all that much room in its storage compartment for a battery. Yes, if you have a smaller battery, it will work. You could get one in there but there definitely isn't a ton of room down there in the Switch Lite version. So another thing you can do with these cases is the flap that covers the storage compartment can actually be propped up so you can use it as a kickstand. So if you do play in tabletop mode, you're saved because remember, I mentioned you can't use a kickstand, remember that? And the Switch Lite? Doesn't have one? See, you're saved, you're welcome. Anyway guys, I think that should cover everything on both of these grips. If you have any questions whatsoever, leave them in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like on this video. Make sure you are subscribed and we will see you in the next one. Also, don't forget to check out the t-shirts. Link in the description.